What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my channel. My name is Craig and this is the Southeast Dream Cars Garage. So today's video is actually a very special video to me uh, because after almost two years of ownership, we are finally going to get started on my 1992 R32 Skyline GTR. So long time coming. I've had parts on hold for this car for at least a year, uh, all sitting in my house, getting, you know, just waiting to be put in. So now's the time, the shop is done, we're ready to go. Uh, so today we are going to start on the 32 GTR. For those of you that are new here, uh, this is a 1992 R32 Skyline GTR that I picked up just about two years ago. Uh, this car came from Craft Sports JDM over in Naples, Florida. This is a beautiful example of a Series 2 R32 GTR, completely, completely stock, no modifications outside of the Kakimoto catback exhaust and a Recaro driver's seat, but super, super mint. The car has been paint corrected, polished, uh, ceramic coated, the whole nine, and you know now it deserves a little bit more love. So. We are going to be getting started on some Olin's coilovers today. Finally got the car up in the air, so we are going to pull the factory uh, shocks out and start unboxing our Olin's coilovers here. Well, after literally an hour of trying to get the car on the jack, we have the stock suspension out of the car in less than two minutes. So we are going to unbox our new coilovers here. The Olins uh, do actually require you to assemble them. So they give you all the shocks and springs, uh, unlike, you know, a BC or HKS that you just bolt right in. Do you have to put these together? So I'm gonna work on that right now. Put the front back on the ground and get working on the rear. We got our front coilovers assembled here. Uh, we just had to go in and put some spacers, tighten down the top hat on there. On these, because you have to assemble the coilover, you do have to set the preload. Um, so for this particular spring, it just takes two mil of uh, preload down here. So you just have to tighten this up a bit before you go ahead and throw it in the car. And we are going to uh, put these back in the front now. So. After a quick trip to the hardware store, we got the front coilovers in. Pretty smooth. I mean, there's just one bolt on the bottom and then two bolts on the top. And while we were in here, we went ahead and threw in a nice old logo strut bar. Something that I've had 
on the back burner for a little while, but figured we would uh, wait till the coilovers were in. We have our you know, adjustments, everything here. So it's looking good. Just like that, you guys, we have the coilovers installed. I went around and uh, set all of the dampening to the factory setting, which is essentially 16 clicks uh, clockwise. Uh, so what you wanna do after you get everything installed is go ahead and crank your dampeners, you know, all the way to the left, and then, uh, you know, tighten them one click at a time until you get to 16 all around. And then, you know, once you drive the car, adjust things and, you know, change up the, the height, all that stuff, you can play with it a little bit more, but we're getting ready to put this car on the ground, see what it looks like. So just like that, you guys, we have the car dropped down on the Olin's coilovers. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna try and get some wheels that I've had uh, for the last about two years uh, fitted to this car. It's gonna take a little bit of tweaking, so that's why the, uh, the coils haven't been adjusted yet. This is just sort of their factory settings, but car looks awesome feels good so far we're going to take it for a little lap around the block and uh you know see how it feels but super happy with how everything came out process was as simple as you could ask for so just wanted to thank you guys for watching make sure you uh, check out the next video